What's going on you guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how you can downgrade uh, apps within the app store. Now sometimes there may be a huge uh, uh, library of versions, sometimes there's not going to be. Uh, it all depends on basically what is stored. Uh, some applications only list a couple of new versions, the really old ones they uh, trash and don't list anymore. Now the reason you may want this is for me, I use uh, TWP Plus or TW Plus and I use Twitter Labs. So I can't be on the newest version and to be honest, the one I'm on to the newest version, there's really no difference. Uh, I like being able to save videos and have all the options that I do with that version. Twitter Labs does work with the newest version of Twitter. However, uh, TW Plus doesn't, which it does offer a little more options. However, today, again, I'm going to be showing you how you can downgrade. And there's actually a cool thing within this. And I am on uh, iOS 12.4 with the newest jailbreak. So the method of using the original uh, app admin does not work. In order to downgrade apps within the App Store, you need to use App Store++. Plus Plus. Now, I have a plethora of repos installed, as you can see here. So you can grab it from literally any repo. What I'll do is I'll leave a couple of repos below that you can use, but you can get it from Bite Your Apple, uh, Chemo, Hack Your iPhone, again, Hack Your iPhone again. Uh, the version is 0961. I have this version here that is in uh, whatever language, this would be Arabic, whatever. Um, and I use this one. Uh, it does show up English within the, in the options. So after you have this, what you're gonna wanna do is just head over to the app store. Look for the application that you may wanna update. So as you can see here, uh, it doesn't show up that I actually have an update for Twitter. It only shows that when I actually go to the app itself which is kind of cool because I have this option here. So what you do uh, when you want to activate this, you have to hold down the upgrade button or the download button. And as you can see, you have unblock updates, uh, upgrade, downgrade, and manual install. So if I hit unblock, come here, and then it shows. So then you could hold down, block updates, and it will disappear, which is kind of cool. So then if you hold the, uh, the update again, and you hit upgrade and downgrade, what it will do is, again, Twitter takes a minute to open up. Some applications actually open up this list fairly quick. But as you can see here, there is a plethora of versions. You just click it, it will automatically start to download. And there you go, you can get your tweaks back. You can downgrade to an older version. Block updates is something that you may like that they've done on the older version if you don't care for some of the new features or if there's really nothing really there, okay? Now, the manual install is an option that is gonna open up a website. Uh, it lists some details and stuff here in builds. Um, you would write these down or copy these because then when you hit done, it's gonna ask you for a code, okay? So you can put that code in and basically grab whatever version that you're, you're peeking for if they don't have it listed. So you get a couple useful options. Again, if you're on 12.4, you're gonna wanna use App Store Plus Plus. I'm not sure if it actually would work for, um, oh, it, it works for iOS 11 to 12 point, and that, uh, that is supposed to say 12.4, um, but yeah. Again, make sure it's just this version, 096. Uh, you could try the other ones, but 0961 actually does work. So, as you saw, it does work for Twitter. Uh, again, if you're on the other iOS's app admin, does the exact same thing. However, app admin only allows you to upgrade, downgrade, and manual install. There actually is no block updates. I find this one very useful because I always had that update notification with this. You can actually get rid of it without having to use, you know, some type of other tweak to remove it or uh, flex and doing a custom patch. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is how you can downgrade an application on a jailbroken device. Peace out.